Hi guys, Jamie Humphreys here for Six String Alliance and today we are taking a look at the brand new Wampler Ratsbane pedal. <laughs> So today it's pedal launch day and we are taking a look at the brand new pedal from Wampler, the Ratsbane. And yes, as the name might suggest, it's based on the Proco Rat pedal. Now Wampler do quite a lot of these kind of clone style pedals, uh, especially with you know, great pedals such as the Tumnus, which is based on the Klon. They do a lot of amp in a box style pedals as well. But whenever you get one of these Wampler style pedals, you can always expect to find a little bit more under the hood. Now the Rat pedal has been around since the late 1970s, and there have been various different versions of the Rat. There's been the Rat 2, the Turbo Rat. There's even been a Rack version called the R2DU. I believe, which I think I need to own one of those just for its name. Now, there has been some very well-known guitar players have used the Rat pedal over the years, the likes of Kurt Cobain, Jeff Beck, Dave Gilmore, Jerry Cantrell, and uh, even Nuno Betancourt, and myself as well. I used to have a Rat pedal. I had a Rat from the late 80s, and it was the main drive unit within my rig throughout the early to mid 90s until someone stole it from me, which uh, was pretty unfortunate. But I used to use it on top of an old Laney AOR 50 and I'd crank the clean channel to drive it and then use the rat to boost it. And then I'd set the high gain channel to kind of match the uh, gain of the uh, clean channel, but I pushed the volume up to give me almost like a three channel amp. So it really was a versatile pedal to add to my rig. So let's take a look at the pedal and uh, it's a, a mini pedal, which uh, we see a lot of these in uh, the Wampler range. It's a great size pedal, so it doesn't use up too much real estate on your pedal board. Looking at the controls, we have the level control. We have the distortion control. 
Down here, we have the filter. Now that's a bit like a tone control. When you turn it all the way down counterclockwise, it's, uh, it, it's quite a top endy sound. And when you turn it round clockwise, then the tone will become darker. Now with most pedals that Brian Wampler designed, you can always expect to have some added extras. And we have two other switches here. This switch on this side, this is a voice switch. Uh, when it's over to the left, then you have that classic rat voicing, meaning that when you turn the, uh, the distortion control up, it will get quite fuzzy as you start to push the gain. And then if we push the, uh, the, the voice control over to the right, it's going to change the voicing. It's going to tighten the, uh, the pedal up a little bit more. It's going to change the, the style of the drive as well, as well as the compression and give you a little bit more of a kind of classic distortion and overdrive tone. On this side of the pedal, we have the gain switch. Now, when that's in the middle, that's going to give you that classic rat gain voicing. Um, that's the lowest gain setting. To the left is the next stage of the gain. And for this, you're going to get a little bit more gain in the mid range to the top end. And then when you push it all the way over to the right, that's a, a quite a saturated gain voicing. And there you're going to have gain across the entire frequency spectrum. So as with all Wampler pedals, you can expect the highest build quality and the highest quality components and this pedal is also true bypass. Just before we get into the pedals, talk about the gear I'm using. I'm using the uh, the same old music man that I always play, my 21 year old Axis Super Sport. This is fitted with Damasio 36th anniversary PAFs, and I'm running into my Mesa Mini Rec, which is uh, sitting behind me. I'm on the clean channel and I'm running into the Two Notes Captor X. I'm using that obviously as a load box and also for my impulse response. And the impulse response that I'm using today is an official Celestian impulse response. I'm using a vintage 25 watt greenback speaker. It's kind of my favorite one at the moment. And that's got a single SM57 on it. So before we get started, let's have a listen to my clean tone. This is my core tone. I'm on the bridge humble. So let's kick things off by having a listen to the pedal. Everything's set in the middle. I've got the uh, voice switch on that uh, classic rat setting and I've got the gain switch in the middle. So everything halfway up. Let's have a listen. <laughs> If I adjust the voice control, let's turn that all the way counterclockwise. That's going to be quite a thin tone. So you can hear that there's quite a broad EQ sweep with just that single control. Okay, let's do the same thing now with the gain control. I'm gonna set the gain control pretty low. Let's have a listen. So this is minimal gain. Start pushing it a bit further past 12 o'clock. Okay, we're uh, let's push that all the way up. We should start to get that kind of characteristic, slightly fuzzy tone out of the pedal with the gain cranked all the way. <laughs> So as you can hear, it really does that kind of great impression of a rat pedal. It has the same kind of characteristic with the distortion. As you push the distortion up, you get that slightly fuzzy tone. And it also has that broad sweep from very kind of uh, top end all the way to dark tones. So now let's have a listen to the voice switch. Now this is what I was experimenting with in the opening demo track. So I'm going to uh, switch that over. 
Okay, so we're on to a slightly tighter uh, voicing now, slightly tighter gain. Let's have a listen. I'm going to bring that uh, voice switch down a bit just to darken things up. Push the gain up. Let's push the gain up some more. Let's go uh, pretty high with the gain. To brighten the sound up a little bit. Let's try some slightly more extreme EQ settings. So let's just turn that uh, filter all the way up here. Obviously, it's going to get pretty bright sounding, so it might not be to uh, to everybody's taste, but let's just have a listen to it. If we turn it down the other way, let's go to about three o'clock, and you can hear the different contrast between that control. Okay, so we've selected the uh, voice switch back over to that kind of classic uh, rap pedal voicing. Let's now experiment a little bit with the gain control. We've had it so far just set on the middle. So what I'm going to do now is switch it over. Uh, get my big fingers in there. Uh, switch it over to the next stage of gain. So this is the medium setting for the gain. And as I said, this is kind of concentrating the gain a little bit more in the mid and the upper frequencies. <laughs> I'm going to drop back a little bit of the filter just to darken things up, just for my taste. Push the gain. It's a really nice sounding pedal. It's a really nice pedal to play with this. Push the gain up a bit. I'm just going to brighten the tone up a little bit. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to engage the voice switch so we can tighten things up a little bit and move move away from that kind of uh, slightly fuzzy sounding overdrive or distortion that you associate with the rat and get a little bit more of a tighter uh, sounding distortion or classic distortion. Okay, flick that over and uh, let's push the gain up a bit. <laughs> Let's now drop the filter control down slightly. So as you can hear from that, it really starts to tighten things up, especially when you're pushing that gain control up. It's not It's not as fuzzy if I turn that ga that uh, voice switch off. Now engage the voice switch. I 
Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to set everything back in the middle and we're going to engage the next gain stage, which is a lot of gain. Okay, so now we're getting gain across the entire frequency spectrum. So this is with the controls set halfway. <laughs> You can really hear that kind of fuzzy sort of sound that uh, you might associate with some of the kind of Nirvana or that kind of grungy stuff. It really does that, that sound well. <laughs> Okay, now let's push the voice control over so we start to tighten things up a bit. Here we go. So push that over. That's going to change the characteristic of the distortion. Actually, let's just push that back and uh, let's have a listen just to what power chord. <laughs> Let's push over the voice control. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is actually I'm going to set this up on the kind of classic uh, rap voicing. Let's have a listen to some lower gain tones. There was actually a section in the intro demo track that I did where I went on to some single coil settings on my guitar and just did some little chords and played some uh, slightly more subdued lead licks, which just demonstrated the, uh, the voicing of the pedal using lower gain. So let's have a listen to some of that. down that voice control ever so slightly or well, the filter control sorry should I say not the voice control <laughs> So quite a dynamic pedal as well when I'm just increasing the gain when I'm on those uh, on the single coil setting Let's uh, push the uh, the voice switch. Sorry, the gain switch over to the um, the secondary position of the gain. So, like I said, this is more uh, looking at the gain in the mid range and the the upper frequencies. Back that down. Back the uh, gain down slightly. It's just hear there how that sounds. So, you know, if you're not so much into the really saturated sounds. down the uh, the filter a little bit Okay, so hopefully from that demo, you've got an idea of the amount of gain that you are able to achieve from this pedal and how close it does sound to an original rat. I wish I had my original rat pedal uh, so that you, we could do an AB between them. I think uh, my friend Andy Ferris, the guitar geek, said to me that he was going to do that and do an AB between the two, but he's a massive rat pedal fan and... Um, 
he was uh, he was very convinced by this and very excited about it. So uh, yeah, you can go from very subtle uh, gain. You can understand why someone like Dave Gilmore would use this. You know, it's got uh, it's got that kind of fuzz tone to it, but also at the same time, you can get those really nice, rich, uh, over, very organic sounding overdrive tones all the way up to sort of quite nasty, especially if you adjust the filter control. And at the same time, you can appreciate my, while someone like Kurt Cobain would have used this pedal, you know, it's quite aggressive and it gives you that sort of garage rock grungy sounding distortion. But then with uh, the, the kind of genius of Brian's pedal design with the voice switch and the switchable gain, it's you're possible then to push it over into a much sort of sweeter sounding, uh, more classic distortion pedal. Okay, just a little bit about the opening track. Um, that track was very much inspired by the Motley Crew. I was going back to my uh, my 80s heavy metal roots with that track. I wanted to show a sort of classic distortion with the pedal, and I also wanted to demonstrate how you could get some of those in-between sounds using some single coil pickups and also using the bridge humbucking pickup to get some of those sort of lower gain if that's the kind of uh, tones that you're into. And obviously using the filter control to get different EQ settings depending on the part that I was playing. Obviously for the rhythm part, I had the, uh, the filter control a little bit lower to get a thicker, darker tone. And then during the solo section, I pushed up into the, uh, the 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 top end a little bit more to make the uh, make the solo kind of cut through in the mix. Um, if you're interested in that track and if you enjoyed the track, follow the link in the description below and uh, head on over to the Six String Alliance website where you can download not just the Tab PDF and the Guitar Profile for free, but also I'm giving away the backing track. So uh, head on over to the Wampler website and uh, order yourself a Rat's Bane, get the backing track and get the Tab and off you go. But uh, massive thumbs up from me on this. I love Wampler pedals anyway. You can probably tell from my page that every time a Wampler pedal comes out, I'm always like, guys, uh, can I can I look at that pedal, please? So I have quite a, uh, a collection of Wampler pedals and they do get used a lot. I just love the way that they take classic design pedals and then add their own twist to them. And especially with this pedal, I'm a massive fan of the Rat pedal. And like I said, I've always missed my old pedal since it got stolen. So having this in my arsenal, but also having these additional gain and voice switches on it really does make this an incredibly versatile pedal. So that's a big thumbs up from me. So uh, check out the link in the description below to head on over to the Wampler website for more information on this pedal. And like I said, follow the other link and head on over to Six String Alliance if you would like to get the tab and the backing track. Okay, so that's it from me and I uh, hope you've enjoyed this demo and I uh, look forward to seeing you here for more videos on lessons and gear very soon. And if you don't already, please subscribe. There's lots of weekly content coming. Take care, bye for now.